sharing a calendar with somebody outside of Outlook, outside of your exchange environment, is very difficult sometimes. And so this this video is just going to go over a couple ideas on how to share a calendar. Now, your situation may vary based upon security within your environment. So let's go ahead and take a look at two of the ways that we can share a calendar. Here, notice that I have my uh, calendar open in Outlook. I'm just going to click on Share Calendar. Here I have a couple options. I can have them request permission, right? Or I can also put limited details, full details, or availability only. I always select availability only so that it'll just show kind of what this free, busy, tend it won't show any of the details. And then here's the calendar itself. Then I can just simply type in that individual, oops, it's easy. Type in that individual's name and um, so I'll just say here and we're going to actually send this to my personal calendar and we'll see what that URL looks like so let's go ahead and and all we have to do here is click on send then of course we hit yes and then it's preparing this the sharing message and the message is sent so let's go ahead and take a look at that email and see what that looks like from a recipient's perspective. So here we have this calendar invite that came in. This is what it would look like for the recipient of this calendar. And we have a couple URLs we can select on, but the one we want to select on here is you can view this calendar in a web browser by clicking on the following URL. So let's go ahead and do that. And now the calendar appears. And notice here that you can't see anything even when you select the day itself you cannot see the details of what that day looks like. You can just see uh, that the day is busy, right? And so you can go down through and see all of the different things that are on this individual's calendar here in this area here. Now note here that um, here it shows busy or free or there's other things that it uses working elsewhere. All of these mean that they're probably going to be busy for those blocks of time. So here, working us for two hours, so from 2 to 9, from 9 to 12, okay, from 12 to 1, from 1 to 2.30, from 2.30 to 3. Okay, so this person's pretty well gone on that day, on the 31st, um, which I am, <laughs> actually. So you can take a look at this and kind of work your way and find empty spots that then you can merge with the other person, you know, on the outside of the organization can look at your calendar now and see good times that you'll be available. In this view, you also have the ability to select different months. You have the availability to select there. You can also go here and select different months and you can take that out too and hit today. So it's pretty flexible. All right, so let's see what the second way to look at this calendar is. So we've, we have shared the calendar. That's what we just looked at. But now let's publish this calendar. And we just simply click here and say publish. Now I've already done this. So we're just going to configure this published calendar by clicking on here. Now what's the difference between a published and a shared calendar? Shared calendar, you're setting it out to an individual. Here we're just collecting a URL. At the end of the day, it's pretty much the same thing because it is open access to your calendar. Uh, here... I just, I'll show you what I do with this. So here again, we can select the calendar. We can select the availability. Again, just like before. Now this happens to be in Office 365. I'm doing this under options. It's just easier for me to remember to go to it straight from the calendar itself and just hit publish. But however you want to get there. But let's go ahead and take a look at this, whoops a daisy, at this URL and see what that looks like. So again, it's the same look and feel that you had on the other calendar that we had published up here. It's the exact same thing, right, as this one for sharing. Same thing as publishing. It's going to the same place, getting the same data. But um, the difference is here that I usually will take this URL and shorten it here, for example. Make a copy of it. Let's open up a new here. And we'll just hit paste. So then I can share, I just share this with anybody who needs access to my calendar. Instead of going in every single time and setting it up as a share, I can just simply hit that, tell them, hey, here, here's what you got. Take a look. 
and find an available time on my schedule and, and send me a calendar invite. This is a very effective way to communicate with people, especially that are outside of your organization, in this example, HPE, and it allows them to see your busy and free times instead of having to go back and forth. There are other ways to do this. Uh, this is just one of many, sharing or publishing a calendar. And it can all start either from within Outlook or if you're just using Office 365, you can go to the Options section and set up sharing and publishing there as well.